Hi everyone, I'm Glenn Flaherty from Board Games and Bourbon, and I want to talk about uh, Elder Sign Omens of the Deep, the new expansion for Elder Sign, and why I think it's the best one that's been made so far. Uh, the premise of the game is that you are going on a sea mission to find um, a relay by triangulation, essentially. And once you find it, you are going to fight Cthulhu, the biggest, baddest baddie of them all, right? Okay, now, um, to do that, you have to do a few things. And it's these few things in the game that really separate it from the other expansions. It separates it from Omens of the Ice. Um, it separates it from Streets of Arkham. And it separates it from the app game. Okay, and these are the qualities that set it apart. Okay, first of all, um, your home base. You're going to start out, uh, like all the games, you start out with your central hub, where if you have nothing to do or you need to heal, you can go back there and spend a turn. Okay, now in this one, you're going to start out on the Thule, uh, which I believe is the name of the indigenous people of Greenland. Uh, I'm going to have to consult my Greenland notes from Phil Eklund. But nonetheless, so you start out here, it's kind of the typical thing where you spend your trophies to heal and stuff. Now, this is in danger of becoming much harder, which is a feature not found in other expansions. Why is that, you would say? Well, there's another card you have to deal with, and it is this one. It's a tracker. Uh, you can almost think of it, you know, as a, as a uh, you know, earthquake the thing this the needle is going back and forth and if it goes all the way over this way you're really in trouble if it goes all this way you're you're doing okay but what happens on this this is tracking your successes and failures on your uh, cards that okay, count your locations um, when you succeed you're moving closer to setting sail and going to phase two of the game phase one is fairly easy you're gaining resources Phase two of the game is much harder, but you're getting the Elder Signs. Now, you would say to yourself, okay, well, let's hang out in phase one as long as we can, get as many resources as we can. Well, there's a bunch of complications to that. Um, hanging out means the following. The longer you are here, the more you have a chance of not going over to sailing to phase two of the game, but bumping into this eyeball. And if you uh, bump into this eyeball, these really big baddies come out, the big monsters. And the monsters are not like the monsters in the other expansions. Now, if four of these monsters come out, your uh, Thule that you were previously on, doing just okay, mwah, got totally sank and now you're on the wreckage and now everything's a lot harder everything's a lot more expensive it's harder to heal okay so you have this uh, push and pull where you want to stay in phase one so you can get a lot of goodies but you're in the danger of sinking and the future becoming harder the fact that these flip are fantastic now another reason you would want to stay in phase one Okay, you might say, well, I don't want this danger. I don't want the second half of the game to be hard. I don't want to run into these monsters and have them in the board. Trust me, there's a lot of bad things about these monsters. Uh, I just want to set sail, but you don't want to set sail because you need to get three amulets that'll help you in phase two. And do they actually help? No, they don't actually help you. They actually just prevent you from having an even worse time. And what do they do? Well, on the other side of this card, yes, this card flips as well. You have these slots. You have yellow, you have green, and you have red. And essentially, if you did not collect your amulets in phase one, when you go to phase two, if any of these are not covered by your amulet, that color die is locked up for phase two, meaning you won't have access. That is a real bummer. Okay, so the fact that these two cards flip around is already something that sets it apart. That's just one quality that sets it apart, um, and but that's a that's a really cool thing. Okay, now, part two. Yes, we have these cards. These are the encounter cards. Again, um, just like uh, everything from um, uh, Streets of Arkham forward, half the cards go down face up, half the cards go face down. This is uh, location one, phase one. This is phase two cards. Phase one are more forgiving and they give you uh, more goodies. Phase two is a lot harder but gives you the elder sign. But you can't even hang out here for very long. Why? Because each of these decks are going to have something that has Cthulhu right on the top. And these are cards that are turned over and are naturally in play. The problem being they have midnight effects, right? If you get rid of one, to get rid of the midnight effect, the next one comes out, and then the next one tells you to move on. 
to phase two, which you don't want to do. Okay, you don't want to do that right away. So you're going to be suffering, suffering while you try to get these amulets. You'll see here, this one says every investigator loses sanity. This one here says retreat the omen token by one. If you're retreating the omen token, you're going to have more of those big old bad old monsters coming out. So in every step of the game, you're having this, this push and pull factor you're trying to decide between, really hedging your bets. And you can't see the cards because at some point they're all going to be flipped over, so you're not sure what to do. You're really getting the sense of adventure in the game, which I really enjoy. Um, now, let's take this a step further, okay? Not only do you have these cards that are two sets, phase one and two, double-sided home bases and stuff. Phase one and phase two, unlike any other expansion, also has their own mythos cards, right? Yikes, okay, so, and these are tied in they synchronize with phase one and two and it makes it for a much uh, more thorough and integrated experience. Now, much like uh, um, Omen's Vice, you get to choose, do you want the top, do you want the bottom, right? Do you want the top or the bottom effect? You choose what benefits you the most when you do that, but you, they're more thematic and they have to do with what phase you're in and it makes more sense. It's not like you're just being like, okay, well today this happens. It's not just like continuing the same idea. Okay, so we have phase one, phase two. We have mythos cards, phase one, phase two. We have uh, our cards, our base cards that flip upside down. What else is there? It's the big old baddies. So what's different about the big old baddies? Well, the thing about them is when they come out, they don't go away. Mmm, that's a bummer. So what happens? Well, uh, there's going to be blue ones, there's going to be red ones. And should you choose a blue one? Okay, um, it goes on the card. Completing the front uh, is only half of the battle. You complete the front, and usually in the blue cards, uh, the front is not hard, but the back is a bear. So you complete the front, you get to see what's on the back. And the back says, if you turn in five points, you get the benefit. And what does it say here? It says here, you may fulfill this mission, these are called missions, and return all monsters uh, from all adventures back to the monster cup. Yay, right? That's a goodie. It gets monsters off your thing. But then there are these red ones you might get. Now, the front on this one is a little bit of a bear. It's got the two uh, squigglies on it. But when you turn it over, yes, it's worth two points, but there is an effect. And a lot of times these monsters, if you do not take care of the monster right away, the effect on the back, the monster simply moves from one card and goes to another card. So this one in particular says, this monster appears on another adventure card unless you discard one common item, meaning you have to do it right away. That's a bear. So now the monsters, they're not going away, they're free floating, okay? So that's really ratcheted it up too. Now moving on to the um, to the monsters, okay, to the to the elder gods. Um, three come in the game. You have Hydra. That's the uh, kind of like the standard one. Not too much. Um, the effect is each time an investigator claims an adventure card trophy, uh, discard the trophy unless you get rid of a stamina or a sanity. That's kind of hard. Not bad. Doable, perhaps. Next boss, um, Dragoon or dragon, uh, uh, Dagon, Dagon, Dagon it, that's the name, okay. This says, when a deep one legion monster marker is discarded, meaning one of the red monsters you got rid of, um, uh, place it next to this card instead. Deep one legion monster markers remain next to this card even after the ancient one awakens. And then that ties into the effect. And the effect says when uh, Dagon attacks, each investigator loses both sanity and stamina equal to one plus the number of Deep Legion monsters next to this card. And then, of course, we have this insane Cthulhu one that I will let you discover on your own because it's really cool. Okay, so overall, what do we have? We have an experience that's far more thought out than I think the other ones. I think it took a lot more effort. The synchronicity between phase one, phase two, mythos one, mythos two. Are you on the ship? Did the ship sink? Um, the omen tracker. So now you're blurring towards, you know, Eldritch Horror Land, the monsters that keep reappearing. It's really intense. It's really intense and it's a lot of fun. 
Um, I have more fun with this than I did with Omens of Ice. Omens of Ice, I felt like, um, was very difficult. Um, phase one of that game uh, was just getting cargo and then moving on. Um, uh, I And I thought it was too close to the app. Uh, so it didn't really introduce anything new to me. I thought it was difficult for difficult sake. But this really has its own life to it, and it, it really makes it feel like a new game. So, if you're in the mood and you're looking for an expansion beyond, and you don't need the other ones, by the way, you don't need to have Unseen Forces or um, Streets of Arkham. Those two actually might interfere with the theme of this game because you don't want to be going through your card deck and see, ah, you got a Sheldon Gain membership. Um, not that it matters. I mix up all my cards, and if something doesn't make sense, I just roll past it. But anyway, yeah, Omens of the Deep. This is my favorite expansion. This is fantastic. Anyway, hope that was informative. I hope that gave you an idea of what to consider. I hope um, you enjoy playing. All right, thank you so much. Talk to you soon.